Hey, hey guys and girls, I hope you're all well. Today we have the MRE from the MKS Meal Kit Supply box of six. Beef ravioli meat sauce, menu three. I've been waiting for this thing for a whole week and I can't believe it's Wednesday at last. It's MRE Wednesday <laughs> at last. But anyway, that's enough of the app. Uh, let's get on and see what is inside these things. I'm just dying. Probably won't be that much, but it uh, kind of rips right across the top. Look, perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, um, that's it. Stick that over there. All right, so we have the bulk standard FRH. Which is um, packed on the 273rd day of 2016. So this is a 2016 pack. Excellent bulk standard. And what else do we have? This is a oh, upside down chocolate chip toaster pastry, which would be a pop tart. Total fat zero, uh, 6.5 grams, saturated fat 2.3, cholesterol 0, sodium 240 milligrams. So it's like military items inside a civil pack where uh, I don't suppose at home you might not sweat that much, but I don't know, I don't live in the States, so I can't really comment. Uh, I, I wouldn't know. I mean, I know I guess how hot it gets out there because I have friends in the US and they used to say, tell me how hot it is over there. And I could not put up with those temperatures, seriously. Bad enough when we get like 25 or 26 or 27 degrees here. Um, anyway, this is packed on the 302nd day of 2016. So, first time I've ever had a chocolate chip toast pastry. Looking forward to that. Uh, this is the bulk standard military card for the heating sleeve. Packed in Sapaco packaging, South Carolina. <laughs> well, I'll be down. Uh, sodium 670 milligrams. There's a lot of ingredients there, one hell of a lot. Contains milk, uh, egg, egg, milk and soy wheat. This soy thing goes right back to World War II, even in the K-rations, which is invented by a colonel, or I think, or a sergeant, or something like that. I forget his name. Um, I can hear the soldiers in the, in the film saying soy. So, you know, even back in World War II, they were all about soy when they were making up rations. Amazing. Goes that far back. Uh, and this is the main meal, which is beef ravioli in meat sauce, packed on the two. Well, we're in, sorry, yeah, two hundred thirty fifth day of twenty fifteen. Oh, sixteen. Sorry, twenty sixteen. What am I saying? Uh, this is the orange beverage powder, carbohydrate, electrolyte, military bulk standard had that before it's very nice very tang I'll call it uh, tang because of uh, course it is tang uh, and that has 130 milligrams of sodium and that is packed on the hundred sixty fifth day of 2015 uh, 16 sorry <laughs> Got 2015 old brain for some reason right so there's your electrolyte drink orange beverage powder looking forward to that and here is the standard MA MKS um, accessory pack. With a spoon, a memory spoon. Well, I can't even remember, can you believe it? There we go. I think there's no coffee, I don't believe. That's got to be a first. I thought there'd be a nice uh, coffee in here. But just the uh, napkin. I'll be damned. No coffee. Ah, that was a shame. I was looking forward to that. Well, there's a belt bulk standard MRE spoon. Uh, I would be using this today, I won't bother. I've got one out already, so I use it every day for breakfast, but uh, I'll have that one. And the MKS napkin. 
there you go, nice uh, brown napkin there. And I'm a bit gutted there's no coffee. <laughs> there's definitely nothing left in the pack, though. No, <laughs> there's no coffee. Oh well, what a shame. I was looking forward to that. Right then, so it's going to be a quick dinner then. Quick review of all the contents there. Nice selection of stuff. Um, so we have that for dinner. We have a cold drink, as there's no hot drink, which I'm disappointed with. Uh, we have that for afters, and that's it, that's dinner. <laughs> That's going to be a quick video this time. Right then, let's get the FRH cranked up and get dinner on the go. Right, there we go, all laid out on the tray. So it's time for the FRH. Looking forward to that beef ravioli. So it seems like there's like a lot of stuff in there. It seems quite thick. All right, okay then. Let's get the FRH. Of course, I'm going to need my grenade, which I've forgotten. Right then. Let's get the FRH open. I'll try. Yeah. Let's do the water off cam because it's I find it's, it's a bit tricky. Yeah, that's between the two lines. Let's get the meal in. Seems to be going okay. Right, let's give it in the sleeve. Well, in there, okay. Tuck that in there. And let's make sure it's uh, definitely activated. Right, put it on the grenade. Right, we'll come back in uh, under 15 minutes. All right, let's do the drink then. Orange electrolyte uh, beverage powder, which I've had before, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Smell just, just got that tang smell, you know? <laughs> Look at that, beautiful orange color there. Look at that. Excellent. Right, the MRE spoon. Let's give it a quick stir. Done. Put the napkin over here. Quick drink over there. Time for the chocolate chip toaster pastry, aka Pop Tart. Which I've never had ever in my life. First pop tart I've ever had. 302nd day, 2016. Yeah. Never had a pop tart, so this would be something new for me. Mm. I think there was a hiss there. I think there was. I think I heard a hiss. Not sure. Looks like a bit beaten up to me. <laughs> Looks a little beaten up. Pull it in there on the way. Yeah, a little bit of damage. But never mind. Be the first pop tart I've ever had. Chocolate pop tart. That would have been real nice with a cup of coffee. I'm very disappointed that there's no coffee in this pack. They should have put one in. Yeah, it smells very nice, huh? So chocolate chips in there as well. Nice uh, chocolate, uh, what, like a sauce thing on top there. Very nice. That would have been great with a coffee. Damn, what a shame. Have any of you ever seen that private snafu, the private snafu videos from the war, World War II? Um, which is like American thing. It's like pre-war and also during the war. I actually take that into consideration when I'm doing videos. Um, 
to the private snafu you can't afford to leave one speck of food because it will turn it will turn and multiply into bacteria they teach private snafu that so i've actually carried on doing that every time i wash this thing i'll get a real good scrubbing or my mess tins or my canteen cup i'll give it a real good scrub make sure there's nothing left in it so it's uh, nice and clean for the food but uh anyway while that's cooking uh, my stuff came in the post this morning this is tuna puttanesca which i've had before 85 grams from Vesti foods packed on the 15th for the 5th 2015 ends on the 5th 18 so we've got next year there's a lot of stuff in that salt one gram per 85 grams zero grams per 100 grams one gram so there's no salt in it 0 0.909 grams hardly any salt energy 589 kilojoules 141 calories I mean I could actually use this <laughs> and put this in the video but I have other plans because there's a lot of lack of ingredients here all we've got is a pop tart and a meal and there's no other ingredients which show no nuts or anything else so you know but never mind so that came today and um, my favorite meal of all time which is uh, if you see my British video the tea time menu then you would have seen this steak and vegetables um, best four date 20 um, November 2017 so we've got till November to eat this there's a lot of stuff in there you know, this is like really heavy uh, I had this last time and absolutely loved every single mouthful of this uh, these two will be in the video I can assure you very very soon probably three or four weeks maybe um, all that stuff that arrived yesterday was um, very nice and um, I actually had porridge this morning instant porridge 55 grams it was enough to fill a bowl I thought I might need two of these but it's one 55 gram serving is enough for a bowl and if you've ever had any of the British ration breakfast muesli breakfast that's exactly what the porridge tastes like it tastes like muesli but it's, it's done you know it's like ingredients oats so it's got more or less the same ingredients as all the other muesli meals but it was very nice i tell you this is what number 11 so i've got 10 more porridges to get through um, i'm actually gonna have another one for breakfast tomorrow it was very nice i really did enjoy every single mouthful of that so that'll be in the video as well although i've got lots of them but uh, we can't really do much at the moment because we're waiting for this pop tart to cook so we've just got to wait now can't do anything <laughs> so drink of the old orange lovely orange tang there mm. Mm. yeah lovely as always enjoyed that I enjoyed that yummy mm. right I'm gonna pause the video because there's nothing else I can do really I uh, just gotta wait for the meal to cook um, there's no other ingredients why the hell they didn't put more ingredients in the bag there's enough in there to put coffee and um nut and raisin mix or or uh, something else but if that was me and i was a, well, I had something to do with the company i said well let's just change a two course meal into a three course meal you know just do something a little bit extra because it needs it i mean this would be okay as a, a nice light dinner you know but it really did need another course another couple of courses but if you got a box of six i would have probably taken out one of the other menus and mixed it in with this just to, just to make it up right i'm going to pause the video now till the meal is cooked well i just felt the meal it seems warm it's not steaming away uh, i think the salt and pepper would have been nice to have in it to give that to if i a bit of a kick but uh, there is nothing else <laughs> meal three is just like hardly anything in it but uh, the meals uh, it's warm I just gave it a bit of oxygen um, to see uh, if it would kick it up somebody said that you can do that so I'll give it a bit of oxygen to see but um, right, I'll come back uh, and we'll uh, get this open Oh, I forgot to tell you, um, he, this eBay seller um, put in an extra little item 
These are the V6, British V6 dental gum mints. So I think I'm going to have one of these and use it in this video as there is no gum. I'll, just, I'll put that over there. It was very nice of him, I think, to put a V6 mint in. <laughs> I'll just put that over there and have it in a bit. Why not? Um, I could actually go one stage further and get some other stuff to put uh, in the tray, but I think I'll hang on to it for another video. Right, dinner should be nearly ready now. Um, nutritional facts on the beef ravioli is uh, calories 290, total fat 14%. Saturated fat 14, 16%, 18%. Cholesterol 8.80%. Sodium 170 milligrams or 29%. Total carbohydrate 39 grams or 13%. Dietary fiber 3 grams, 12%. Sugars 4 grams. Protein 16 grams. Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamins, calcium, and iron. Okay. Uh, Pop tart uh, 215 calories. Total fat. 20% saturated fat, 23% or 20, 2.3 grams. Cholesterol, zero, sodium, 20%. Carbohydrate, 36 grams, 24%. Dietary fiber, one gram, 5%. Sugars, 18 grams. Vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium and iron. And the drink is basically zero all the way down, more or less. Cholesterol, zero, sodium, 130 milligrams. Total carbohydrate 23 degree, 23 grams even, 8%. Dietary fibre, zero, sugars, 22 grams. So it contains a little bit of sugar here and there. Vitamin A, C, calcium and iron. So there we go. MKS, beef ravioli meat sauce. So right, dinner should be ready now. So let's get this out. Let's see how hot it is or not, as the case may be. Ow, yeah, that is hot. Ow, yeah, that is hot. Even though it's not, it's not steaming away, that's still hot. Wow. Okie dokie. Um, shall we put the bag in half? Yeah, let's give it a rip. Why not make it a bit easy, won't it? Make it a little bit easy again now. Put that over there. There's a napkin. Let's get this napkin out. Big old napkin there, look at that. <laughs> that's a lot. Right then, dinner is ready. Is it a side or a top? A side. Yeah, it's called bulk standard military, isn't it? I should have known that. Right, push that stuff down, that's really hot. I have to dry my fingers off. Right, let's have another go. Yeah, got it this time. There we go. Beef ravioli meat sauce. The smell coming off that is awesome. Mmm. I like it. That's a very nice smell. Well, the FRH did a fantastic job. It's really hot. Real hot. Did a fantastic job, even though it wasn't steaming away. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that is it. That is it. Right then, time for dinner. Right, okay then. Because there's no salt or pepper, so. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it looks very nice though. It smells great too. This would be a good uh, basic dinner time menu. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. I'm wondering if this is the same meal as 
this one next week. Beef ravioli and meat sauce. It's got to be exactly the same meal, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'll look forward to beef ravioli twice then. Brilliant. Can't wait. Mmm. 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 Yeah, the pasta is very nice. So is the meat sauce. Not as much sauce. <laughs> so a little bit, but not much. Not much sauce. Me did like a kind of sauce or something. Proper, sort of loose. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's alright. It's nice and uh, dry. Well, not dry, but, you know, wet. And it goes very nice. Mmm. Ravioli pasta there with meat inside. Beautiful, just as good as any of our ravioli tins we got here. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> yummy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Beautiful. Yeah, there's a slight cheese taste to it. Uh, I looked on the ingredients, it said it's Romano cheese and ricotta cheese. So that would explain the cheesy taste. It's got tomato uh, um, tomato uh, contents as well. But that is a, has a slight cheesy taste, but very nice. Mmm, goes real well. There's a lot of ingredients here, I just looked on the list. Uh, just absolutely loads of ingredients for this. But uh, it's just real nice. Mmm. Mmm. Tomato paste. Yeah, that was a tomato paste. Got garlic, onion, stuff like that in it. With two cheeses. Mmm. Delicious. Time for some orange tang. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Beautiful. Uh, this is a nice dinner. I'm looking forward to this again next week, I'll tell you. Mmm. Right, I'm just going to finish this up then, and we'll get back for the Pop-Tart. Well, that was absolutely delicious, guys. Um, that cheese undertone is, is nice. It really does go well with the pasta. It has seasoned beef as well, and spices. It's really nice. I can't not wait to uh, have that again next week. Mm. Right, okay. I said no coffee, <laughs> which is a shame. Um, let's have a look at the um, pop tart. I mean, I've never had one of these in my life. It's the first one. Of course, you put these in the toaster. <laughs> but you see, there's a lot of chocolate in there. Mmm. 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 Very nice. Not at all, but would have gone better with a coffee. Mmm. Nice chocolate chips too. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Chocolate sauce and chocolate filling is very nice. Pastry is great. Nice and soft. It dissolves in your mouth. Mmm. Right. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Alright. <coughs> Last of orange. Mm. Oh, yeah. That tang's real nice. Beautiful orange drink. Always like that one. Along with the lemon and lime. They are my two favourite drinks out of all the drinks. Lemon and lime and orange. <laughs> my favourite. Right, as the guy put in a little bit of extra in my uh, ration packs this morning, let's have a V6 men. To top it off. Let's have a B6 or two, not sure how many is there in there, it's one or two. Yeah, that's two. I'll keep the one for uh, later on. B6 mint, British B6 mint. You can see, pure white mint. Mm. 
Yeah, that's what I needed in that pack was some uh, American gum. I'm sure they could have put it in there. There's enough room. Mmm. That's what you sort of need after dinner, really, isn't it? Try and clean your tea. Mmm. -hmm. Well, that was absolutely fantastic mint. Very cool. Typical British uh, V6 mint. Goes together very well, even if you buy it in half. Mmm. I'll be chewing it for an hour or so. Right, recap, um, pop tart, chocolate chip pop tart was excellent, I've never had one of these before, they're very, very, very nice, probably better than a toaster, but, I mean, you could, I should have been, what I should have done, put that in with the FRH, shouldn't I? Note for next time, put pop tart in with the FRH, warm it up a bit, doesn't need it, it's quite nice on its own. Well, beef ravioli meat sauce, fantastic, uh, I'll look forward to that again next week, <laughs> so come on next Wednesday, hurry up. Can't wait for that. Orange, orange uh, beverage power is fantastic. Uh, I love orange, it's always been my favourite. Um, but uh, yeah, that MKS meal was very nice. Uh, I like it. I'll gladly have that again. I hope I find one on eBay too. MKS menu three. Beef ravioli meat sauce. Gets a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. But next week we have. This one again, menu 80, beef ravioli meat sauce from Ameriquel, Evansville, Indiana. We're looking forward to this next week. Come on, next Wednesday. Right, so that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by to watch. And if you comment, thanks for all your comments. Uh, big shout out to Dave, 45 Auto, Old Smoky, Free Range Cheese, um, Apple Stump, Bush Garth and Fee stuff. Um, everybody else, you are, you know, you are Rash Metal Lymphy, Broken Pixel, Flanker Tanker, um, everybody basically. <laughs> uh, just big shout out to everyone. Oh, well, I'll include your names in the list. But um, I hope I find another one of those on eBay. I really do. Um, that was quite a rare find. But uh, I'm really hoping one day I'll find uh, another menu because I would like to see what the other food tastes like. Um, so I'll keep searching and hopefully one day another one might turn up. So thanks for watching guys and girls. I appreciate that. Have a great day or night. Well, it depends where you are. And uh, I'll be back next Wednesday with Menu 18. Beef ravioli meat sauce yet again, but with more contents this time. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now. And I enjoyed every single mouthful of that beef. 10 out of 10. Bye for now.